Well, the Black Lives Matter movement has inspired support for another group, this time for essential workers. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen shows us workers in L.A. joined a nationwide strike for black lives who need better wages and working conditions. Nine weeks after the death of George Floyd at the hands of police, an enduring symbol of the civil rights movement was a sign of solidarity for generations, including 25-year-old Sierra Herrera. It's a new movement and a new wave that's happening right now, and I think it's really important to keep the conversation going. She joined her grandfather during a demonstration outside of McDonald's in the Crenshaw district to push for higher wages for fast food workers and continue the sustained passion of the Black Lives Matter movement. We will not be silent any longer. Most of the protesters were in cars in order to practice physical distancing. At the same time, First Amendment. So we have a right to, to come out here and, and take action. The LAPD was present to direct traffic during the caravan, while those who may have lived through the civil rights movement are having to shelter in place during this pandemic. Thank you so much. Newlyweds Sierra and Jordan Shimamura found themselves in the middle of the caravan on their visit to Hollywood from Washington State. We've never been a part of anything like this, but we are here for the movement and uh, we love it. Especially if we, you know, have kids one day, you know, our kids might have to face racial issues. And we met Michael Jules and his family when the caravan made its way to this skilled nursing facility to draw attention to the need of precious protective equipment for workers. So I'm out here with my children to teach them the importance of fighting for Black justice and to here. also realize what our ancestors Black has Black fought Black for. Such as the late civil rights icon turned lawmaker John Lewis, who sacrificed his body during the March for Equality in Selma. The caravan also went to the gates of USC, where demonstrators pushed to abolish campus police and to remind all of us who essential workers have always been. A lot of this country was founded on the backs and the bodies of black and brown bodies. In all, about 25 demonstrations took place across the country today. In downtown Los Angeles, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.